Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing the MTM Hydro SGS 35, which is a pressure washer gun that you can attach to your pressure washer system. Um, now this is brand spanking new. I've never attached it to my system. It's dry as a bone. It's never been tested. So what I'm filming is my first kind of impressions of it. Now, the important things for you to understand, 99% of you, I know a lot of you know this, but we have to cover it, okay? 99% of you are using Karcher pressure washers. If you want to upgrade, Jesus. <laughs> if you want to upgrade your Karcher gun to one of these, you need to make sure you've got the Karcher attachment. And that attachment, the inter-detailing cell, is the part made by Karcher. There are Chinese companies that have knocked it off, and I don't think they're supposed to do that, but it's important to say that this is the proper pucker Karcher one. Now, for your money, this product, I believe, costs 75 pounds, roughly, at the time that I shoot this video. What do you get? You get the gun, and I believe you get the Karcher quick attachment to attach to your Karcher system. I'll confirm yes or no on that. It's in one picture and not the other. You also get a bag full of different nozzles. You really just need to use the white nozzle. Don't use the red one on your car. It's like a circular jet and it will cut your car in half. You could experiment with some of the other nozzles if you want to, um, like the yellow or the green. It also comes with an attachment here, which you can screw into the back of a snow foam lance if you don't have the quick release system in there. As long as it's got that thread there, so you can unscrew your Karcher one, screw the quick release one in, and then you can pop your snow foam straight into the quick release system of this gun. Very easy to do. The other th feature on this is that it's got a swivel on it, so that you're not, without the swivel, you're coiling your lead whenever you handle it. So that's quite a nice feature, although it tends to lock when the pressure's going through it. So it's not essential, some people argue, but I think you want it nowadays, it's on most of them. It has a trigger lock, because these guns are quite dangerous. If you're just talking to a camera <laughs> with it in your hand, you accidentally squeeze it, this is, hits you in the face. You know, the pressure coming out of these can be very dangerous, so you might want to use that thing. I th it probably needs to have it there, doesn't it? And it's got like a little butt that it sits up on. Um, it's, it's well made, and the main difference with this over the Dulux one that I was using before from into detailing is the use of steel fitments. So if you took all the cladding and casing off of this thing, you'll see a bar that goes up this way and a bar that goes down that way. And in the middle is like a little pressure thing that the trigger actuates on to let the stuff through. So they're relatively simple things. Now, why do I have this bit of kit? I had the deluxe one, which is like the Chinese cheaper one that Imran sells. He sells loads, but the deluxe was the one that I had. And I've been testing snow foam lances over there. And I broke, I broke my deluxe one. I was doing lots of testing with the extension bar and the snow foam lances on the extension bar sometimes as well. It's a bit stupid. And I sprang a leak right from here on my my brass fitment for, for the deluxe product. And the brass fitment is identical to this. Um, and all I thought I needed to do was just tighten it back up. So I talked it back up and it sheared off here. And what happened was the leak, I think, was metal fatigue from the weight of a liter of, of snow foam on the end of a long thing and you know 12 to 24 months of weight well i don't usually use the extension arm has just failed this part now i could have just swapped out because it unscrews and put in a new brass fitment but i damaged it trying to get the old one out with a reverse um threaded drill so um i spoke to him around he said i'll just send you another one which was very nice of him um but he sent me the high quality steel one now, which is about double the price, but is what you get for your money, is it gonna last like five years, this one, as, as opposed to two years? Um, now I'm gonna be a bit more careful with them in the future as well, because I think even though it's steel, you, you know, you, metal still does fatigue. So interesting guys, 
Interesting. Gotta look after your stuff, and I'm perhaps guilty of just abusing it a little bit. Now, if you've got ooh, your existing karcher, then using these new products is so easy. When your products, when your gun's not under pressure, or you'll struggle to do this, you just press the release button and <laughs> never do live TV. Off pops your old, off your old gun, and then you just line it all up then pop it in and you have installed your gun and you're done. You might, with this um, SGS, you might just want to torque up. So get, a, get a, a spanner on that bit and a spanner on that bit and just tighten it up. That I've only done hand tight. So is it going to leak? I'm interested to see. Do I have to wrap PTFE tape around any of these threads to get it to not leak? Who knows? We'll find out in a second. Now, one other consideration I'm using a K7 down here, which is a very powerful machine. Um, I use wider nozzles that into detailing cell so that I don't back my machine up. Um, so you don't, what you don't want is when you go to use this, your machine pulsing and going rang, 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 and stalling because it's, it's, there's too much back pressure. So make sure you've got the correct nozzle type for this. Interesting, okay. So I know this nozzle is good for my machine. Um, I can't provide you with support on any of that nozzle size stuff, guys, but the nozzles that Imran sells um, will work on K2s, K3s, and K4s, I believe. If you've got a very high pressure system, then you might just wanna check that, you know. Another consideration is my K7 has a Bluetooth or wireless pressure control. When you press this, oh. Why is it not connecting? And maybe it needs to be plugged in or something. But I can adjust the pressure up and down with this. Why is it not working? Maybe the unit needs to be switched on for it to connect to it. That's probably what it is. Um, so obviously when you switch over to this gun, you lose that pressure control. So what you can do is just set it to whatever pressure you want and leave it there. And if you need to adjust it, you're just going to have to get this and like... Yeah, use it so you can keep it in the holster if you like. All right, I keep it in the drawer and I just tend to use it. If I ever need to clean the patio uh, and I don't want to swap up, I can up, up the pressure. You get the idea. Right, I'm going to shut the camera down. And we're going to fire this up for the first time, check it out and run some snow foam through. Now, I'm also testing lances out, informal testing. So I'm going to use a lance that is very cheap from Blitz Detail. And I wanted a cheap one. This is £7.99. You can't adjust the rake or the fan. So I don't think I'm gonna get amazing foam. I'm not too interested in amazing foam. Although, don't prejudge it, it might be good. I'm interested in how good it is for £7.99. So we're using this system. If you want thick, fluffy foam, you probably need to use a more expensive lance that you can adjust. Okay, camera off. I'm gonna shoot outside and then we'll get cracking. Okay guys, so I finished the first run with it. No leaks, the swivel is good. It doesn't quite lock up as tightly as the other one, which is good, didn't have any coiling hose. Um, the trigger is light, I've got no fatigue in my hand. It feels decent. Could you get fatigue if you kept going with it? Maybe eventually, but as long as my hand's not aching after washing, a, rinsing down a car, that's good enough for me. Um, what we've got to look to find faults with this. It's a little bit of free rattle. So there'll be, it'll be making a little rattling noise where this moves. There's a bit of play in that before it hits the valve. So they could get rid of that play and then it will never move. And that's just a little tweak that they could improve. You need to be careful and make sure your old nozzles mated up to your old machine thousands of times and it goes in there like a glove and suddenly you put it into a machine that's slightly different. It goes in there fine, but if you don't push it all the way in, you just need to make sure that that clip snaps back so you're not going to fire this out. That's very important. Whenever you're firing it up, just get into the habit, and I'll probably forget this habit, of just pointing it away from your car when you start it, just to make sure it's like a fail safe. Other than that, guys, this review is simple. If you're running a 130 quid pressure washer, 
I don't think you're going to spend 75 quid on a gun. Uh, you know, and you're the judge of that. And though you're probably better off out of all the ones Imran's got of going for the deluxe, the Chinese one, if you're on a budget. Um, if you're doing it professionally, using the tools day in, day out, the steel is probably going to come into play. Uh, although I can't, you know, that's just guessing. This might last a bit longer, take a little bit more abu abuse. Or if you're at home and you've got a more expensive system. So I'm running a 350 quid system or 400 quid, the K7. Um, it's hard to put myself in, you know, where I am because I haven't had to pay for this. So if I had to cough out for a replacement, I would have probably just bought the deluxe one for 35 quid because I feel it's a good machine. But there, it kind of, you know where it goes. If you're going to pay double the money, you're going to get the steel fitments and, and the Italian made one. If you're on a budget, get the deluxe one for 35 quid and all the other things. Make sure you've checked all your, your sizes and your orifices if you've got a more powerful system. So that is it, guys. That is the MTM SGS 35. And just some of the spec things here. 35 MPA or 5,075 PSI, assuming that's maximum pressure. 45 litres per minute or 12 US gallons per minute. 160 Celsius through to 320 Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. That's telling you the maximum water temperature, I think, that you could run through this if you've got like a steaming hot water system. Uh, so it's useful stuff. That's what you're getting for your, for your money, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye for now. Where was I when